Touchboard Mini Piano, Basic Project. Step 1. Paint the piano graphic. Squeeze out some paint and apply directly onto the graphic. Make sure to apply an even coat, ensuring there's no breaks in the paint. When filling in the sensors, make sure the paint doesn't bridge between the keys, as this will cause a short circuit. Cut out a stencil. You can use the vector file provided to cut out your own piano template. You can also cut it out by hand. We suggest using a thick paper stock, around 200 GSM or thicker, so that your template won't warp when you apply the paint. If you're cutting out the template by hand, you can use a ruler to make sure your lines are nice and straight. Pay extra attention when cutting out the touchboard pitch. Carefully remove the paper you've cut out, making sure not to break the template. If you do so by accident, apply some tape to mend any breaks. Once you've cut out your template, use tape or a light coat of spray mount to hold your paper into place. Place it over the surface you want to paint. In this case, we're using a piece of paper. Use electric paint to fill in the conductive piano graphic on the paper template. We use a stenciling brush to blot the paint on. If blotting, make sure to offload the paint before applying it to the template. Just dab your wet brush on a piece of paper towel to offload the excess paint. Hold your brush at a 90 degree angle and blot several layers over your template. Make sure to apply an even coat, as any gaps in the paint will mean your sensors may not work. You can apply several layers to bulk up the paint. Once you've finished, you can remove the template and leave your paper piano to dry. It's best to remove the template when the paint is slightly wet so that it doesn't break off. Be careful when removing the template to ensure you don't smudge the paint beneath. Step 3. Audio Power and Testing Make sure your touchboard is switched on and that your power and audio are plugged in. Touch each electrode to check all the sounds are working. To recalibrate, press the button on the lower right hand corner of the board and wait for the orange light to stop flashing. Once it stops pulsing, you can test the electrodes again. Step 4. Attach touchboard to paper. Once your graphic is dry, squeeze a small droplet of paint onto each of the circles at the bottom of your template. Make sure the droplets aren't too large, as any paint bridging between the electrodes will cause a short circuit. Carefully center the touchboard over your grid, and place it down so that each electrode makes contact with the droplet below. Squeeze a second set of droplets on top of your electrodes. You don't need to cover them, only to connect to the paint beneath. We call this method of attaching the touchboard to paper cold soldering. Step 5. Plug 
plug and play. Now you're ready to play. Switch on your touchboard, press the recalibrate button, wait for the orange light to stop pulsing, and play away.